Hey everyone, I was um, getting ready to work out and I just made my kids these snacks and I thought I might do a little video, show you guys what I did um, because I think they're amazing. So look at this, look at this cute little ice cream cone. It's just the perfect size for my kids um, as a quick little snack uh, post lunch or something. And I love it as far as healthy eating goes for a couple of reasons. First of all, because it's a small portion. Um, it's enough for me to satisfy my cravings. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. It's so cute. And I love, I love sprinkles too. And so this is the perfect amount for me not to go crazy, but to still have that, um, texture, whatever. I love that. And, mm, it's so good. Um, it's so easy to make and it's healthy. Um, the exception of this, I wouldn't necessarily call these little cones clean. Um, the first ingredient is whole wheat, but there are other things in it too, but each of these cones is five calories. So what the heck, right? Um, and it's so easy. I'm going to tell you guys how I made it. Okay. Hold okay. On. So, um, how I made these things, um, I came across this recipe. I'm a huge fan of ice cream and frozen yogurt. And I even, I posted this recipe on my like page, but I know that some of you haven't had a chance to see it. And I kind of wanted to do a little video to show you how easy it was. Um, I really should have probably thought a little bit ahead of time and made this video while I was doing it, but I kind of prepped it while I was teaching a preschool class. And I thought, man, I should do a video on that. It's so easy. So this is what it takes. It takes three bananas frozen. So these are my frozen ones, but um, the original recipe uses a food processor and I don't have one, so I kind of had to improvise. So when I cut these up to freeze, I cut, the, I diced them basically, and I put them on a plate, and I put them in the freezer so that they kind of freeze individually into little pieces. Um, you can do it for a couple of hours um, or overnight. I ended up doing mine overnight because um, I thought I was going to prepare it today for the class that I was teaching. So, um, so it's three bananas, and then um, a third of a cup of almond milk. I use the unsweetened vanilla. Um, you can use whichever one you want, I guess, whatever. Um, the actual recipe that I found says non-dairy milk. So if you have like an allergy to almonds or you prefer a different type of milk, then you could go that route. Um, two tablespoons of cocoa and then half a teaspoon of vanilla. And you put that all in the food processor. Blah, 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 food processor. So if you have a food processor, then you're pretty much done. Um, if you don't, then you start putting it in the blender and realize it doesn't work, and then you scoop it out into a bowl like this one, and then you put your immersion blender in and whip it around, and then that kind of did the trick. So you just want to make sure it's really well mixed. So at that point, um, depending on how quickly you're able to do it, um, at that point you may, I just used for, um, for initially for the class I did, um, I just used a little cookie scoop. It's the perfect size for these little cones. I found these at HEB. I don't know if they have them other places. And I love so much that they're small, um, they're mini, and there are 42. So like for a little party or something like that, they're perfect. Um, um, anyway, and they're enough for my kids. They don't need a whole big ice cream cone to feel like they've had any. The serving size actually says three, but my kids don't need to know that, right? So um, you can just use a little a cookie scoop or whatever, a tablespoon one. It's going to be about almost two tablespoons um, that fit in this little guy right here. Um, and you can go that route. What I ended up doing was emptying that into a freezer bag. And hold on. And I put it in the freezer. Um, I put it, well, first I put, I have a little cookie icing tip here. So I put it in a freezer bag and let it get stiff again. Um, so it's not too melty because it doing all of this it kind of made it really soft and gooey so you just take this and you just squeeze it do to do, do like this and if you want to top it with like that if you want to top it with some sprinkles you can kind of go that route if you like sprinkles um, there are a couple other ways you can do it um, if you are being really strict as far as clean eating, now the, the ice cream itself is clean. There's nothing in it. I mean, 21 day fix style, based on the size of portion that you're giving yourself in a cone this big, I almost wouldn't count it. Um, you're having very, very small portions of everything. I wouldn't say it was a free food, but um, if you wanted to count it as a yellow or half a yellow, you could go that route. You can put it in a shot glass. If you want to do little like dessert shots or something, um, and then if you're presenting it, you know, just put just a little bit of coconut, unsweetened coconut flakes, or 
You could even go with almond if you're trying to avoid the processed sugar or whatever. So there you have it. Um, it's good. It's really good. Um, try it. Let me know what you think. And I love to hear if you guys have any variations and stuff. I know sometimes people add strawberries and stuff. My kids are pretty much chocolate fans, but I love it because it's healthy and it's clean and it's yummy. So um, other than that, check back later for more videos. <laughs> Bye. And if you liked this recipe, please check out my Facebook page, Lindsay's Healthy Habits for Happy Living, for other ideas and recipes for snacks and healthy options for all of your meals.